For almost every problem out there, there's a product on the market, but can they live up to their claims? Find out on today's Buzz or Bust. Bust. First, can you cure, or could the cure to anxiety be as simple as wearing glasses? Addie's glasses say they just might be. We are wearing them now, Dr. Judy. What is the concept behind these guys? They claim to calm you and help decrease stress and perhaps even lower anxiety and the chance of panic attacks. And they do this by occluding parts of your visual field. So basically these glasses, if you're looking through them, your visual field is only this much. So you don't get to see what's above, you don't see what's below, you don't see what's left or right, and also everything is dimmed. So it doesn't look as light when you're looking out. I feel like I'm at the ophthalmologist's office having my eyes examined. I know, I which, know. Which isn't fun. Yes, and I think the point of these glasses is that sometimes when people are overstimulated, they get really stressed. And so this is supposed to focus your attention. And the idea behind it is that you wear it, not while you're running around, but maybe when you're sitting because they do block your peripheral vision and that you are supposed to be experiencing a lower sense of anxiety as you're wearing them. You wore them oh, for an I extended do. period of time. I put them on for the first time for about two minutes there. Gonna ask you, you wore them for hours. Buzz or bust? It's a bust, you guys. It's a real bust. I'm so sorry. I think that the idea behind it is great, but the problem with these glasses is that we don't really have the research behind it just yet. They have one pilot study with about 30 people. It's very inconclusive. They've just found trends that it works, not statistical significance, and we really need to find out more. Now- and you could you could try it in the worst case scenario. Yeah. You say, okay, this doesn't work for me. I, I um. I'm not loving the experience. No, but they made me someone, feel claustrophobic. Someone might. They made someone me feel claustrophobic, actually. You look very cool in them. Thank you. But I don't, I right. don't like what it does to make you, how, how you feel with it. I say you need to learn real coping strategies, mindfulness skills, things that can actually help you decrease stress before you spend money on these. All right, let, let's, let's move on. Let's move on to these. These are uh, towels for men who are looking for some relief from their briefs. Dr. Orton, what are these? These are called testy towels. And if you wanna, if you wanna romp around in the buff, but you have a certain degree of modesty. Is you, that how you would put them on? You put stuff in there and you, you walk around. So this is what it says. Step one, open your testy towel and create a comfortable opening for your man parts okay. to dip into. Step two, dip your crown jewels and tuck in the prince, welcoming the trio into their new palace. <laughs> Step three, secure your package by tightening the drawstring located at the top of your towel until the utmost comfort level is reached. Drew, buzz or bust? <laughs> this is a bust. Absolutely. It could be a cute beret for your baby or your dog. I feel like both of these items are all about constriction. <laughs> that a beanie when it's cold. What gonna do. <laughs> you see it's that? It's a cute beret. That works, that works better for me. This is better. <laughs> Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like both of these objects are designed to constrict us. I just feel like I it's all say. about boxing you in. <laughs> I like yours better than mine. You guys should trade. Camo, you're a camo guy. Hey, that doesn't all, feel did, as did masculine. Did you try that? Listen, did you, I, you don't, dudes don't trade testy towels, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I always say, Not until they've been once, washed. once <laughs> you wear a testy towel, it's yours for life.